Right, I've just left the farm. A lovely lady offered me a coffee, but I denied it. And uh, something really weird happened last night. I thought um, I had a really bad feeling that, like her husband. It sounds strange, I know, but I had like a daydream while I was awake that her, hus the lady's husband had cancer, and I, I, I brought it up. And basically, he died of cancer nine years ago. And I was never to know this. And I just had a, like, um, not a chill, but a feeling. And it was really strange. And uh, moving on, because I hate that feeling. It's too strange to comprehend. And uh, at the minute, anyway, it's too strange to comprehend. There's a nice view that way. Then there's a, a hill. Luckily I'm going down it, going down there, and then it just bottoms out into a black abyss down that way somewhere. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to find a place to dump my rubbish, and then uh, head off down that way. <laughs> just to say that I'm most definitely on top of everything. Except for that hill behind me there. But I'm sure I'll get there in about two minutes, unfortunately. But yeah, but that way it's a lovely view over there. Absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say, really. <coughs> it's a nice views, but it's a nice hills. Right, I just come down a lovely little lane. That one there, it goes to some dirt tracks behind a gate. Not dirt, but I'd rather it be dirt. It was... Uh, Right, uh, really bad tarmac. They've been dug up a few hundred times, and loads of whoa, it's like this, like that. It's well slippery stuff, but as long as you don't break too hard on corners, it was all right. Just keep your brakes on full bids. It is a nice view, and. You can't really see where the hell you go. But anyway, I got here like this. I got this turnstile. It doesn't say anything on it. It is Route Four, and it, if you go to the other side, Route Four down there in the undergrowth is Route Four. If you can see that, I'm not too sure you can see that. But it says it's fine, yeah, made by whoever and whatever. But here there wasn't any signs. But now there is a sign. There, Route 4. If if police are watching this and you're going to arrest me for graffiti, then don't bother because I'm just helping people out, yeah? So, uh... Yeah, this is Route 4, you come down there, and you go through this turnstile thing, and that's that. But yeah, lovely ride, but uh, another killer hill on the way, between Ponty Preed Hill, and then cycling about all the Welsh countryside bits, there's more hills, and I would say short and steep, but it varies quite dramatically, and... But remember, where there's an uphill, there's an equal and opposite downhill on the other side. It's all round about level. I am actually inside most of the bloody valleys, which I don't really want to be. But hopefully, I'll find a train track or a million of them, and uh, and hopefully I'll uh, be able to do that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not wearing boxer shorts by the way, I'm just wearing my old, my old, my uh, Lycra, just the Lycra, and uh, it's a lot less sweaty, I only went one day with like nylon tight fitting underwear on and it wasn't any good at all, it was really really sweaty and horrible and it gets birds nests down there and oh, it's not very good but anyway yeah tip number one have a shave full body wax if you can just 
not with a stubble shaver so it's prickly otherwise you'll get a bad old rash but anyway enough about talking about my balls let's uh let's get on with the journey i need a shit anyway so after ducking cover in a head somewhere hey <laughs> right i'm off thought I'd show a clip of a nice little hill you don't even have to pedal obviously because it's a hill and uh, yeah have a look around admire all the sheep shit everywhere look at how there's a big pile of shit man there are loads of sheep about but they are quite camouflaged in all their white versus green Bit of a clash, clash of colour. It's a lovely cycle path. I'm not going too fast because I am going one handed, but I don't go too fast anyway. I'm doing about 17, 18 mile an hour now, which is, well, about 20 now. I'm starting to speed up, <laughs> but that's alright. As long as you're safe and you, know, you can see where you're going. As long as you can see the distance that you can stop, you're fine. Plus three seconds, obviously, for uh, getting your hand back on the bar and whatever. But yeah, the main road is behind that fence and down about 50 foot. So, uh, like most places along these cycle tracks, you want to make sure you don't look around too much. Because if you start looking about too much, you're going to fall down a hell of a drop and uh, yeah basically you fall down you're not going to be found and I mean you're not ever going to be found oh this is a nice sight of path this is it's not too bumpy or anything so far I'll be alright. <coughs> Everyone said to me, keep out of the valleys. I'm not in a valley, honest. Honest? I swear on my hat's existence. Puff. What hat? Yeah. So, it's downhill that way. I feel that way. We're going down that way. It's good. It's really good. It's fucking Superman. Not Superman, but Superman. Yeah, anyway, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Anyway. You have to be careful where you walk and shit around here. I'll show you why. If I find it again. Oh, where is it? The little thing, where is it? Oh, never mind, but the spiky thing about that long and spikes on it. I thought it was just like a bit of grass or something, so I picked up and it's rock solid spikes on it, man. You get one of them in your wheel, you won't know about it until you try and take it out and then get a flat tire. But yeah, down there, I don't know what's down there. Might be a dead sheep. I don't know, it's a rock, it's a lovely river down there. Lovely river, I can't get to it though. Don't think I'll get to it for quite a while. But, yeah, anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, look, my hat. Oh, I'm in a valley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Right. Fucking Sustrans, yeah? You listening? Yeah, you see that view? Yeah? Lovely view, mate. Nice view. The fucking route through these gates. Yeah? How is anyone? Yeah? How is anyone meant to get through their bike through fucking that, yeah? How is that possible, yeah? You fucking tell me. Yeah? Even a racing bike without any bags. The handlebars. The handlebars can't get fucking through, yeah? Let alone a fucking bike like mine. Fucking idiots. 
It's all fucking locked up. Fucking bunch of wankers. Sort this shit out. I mean, Wales and Route 4, you probably fucking know where this is. Yeah, you probably done it on fucking purpose, yeah? Nice gates. Oh, lovely gates. Fucking idiots. So, route number four, yeah? You expect tourists to come down here with a bike like mine? Fucking assholes. You do a lovely job. It's been brilliant up until now. All downhill. All lovely back lanes. All fit paths and that. And it's been absolutely smashing. I thought you going to fucking put a fence there, yeah? This gate, yeah, this gate is enough. You don't need that gate, yeah? You don't need that fucking gate. You need this gate. Then people fucking won't just go storming through. Not that they can anyway, because there's a dodgy corner. Fucking assholes. Jesus, they've pissed me off. I have to take all my bags off now. Yeah, I've spent 20 minutes of my fucking life not enjoying myself, but taking my fucking bags off. You cunts can't even spare two foot gap. Two foot, mate. I measured it. There's a foot. Yeah? There's a foot. There's another foot. Give or take three inches, to say two foot five inches. That's the only gap. My legs are thicker than that. Fucking assholes. Jesus. Right. Sus range of wankers. Took the front bags off. Got my bike through. You made it so I got holes in my fucking brand new bags, yeah? With your tight fucking shit around that fucking corner. This one's got a fucking hole in. Yeah, 30 fucking quid them bags each. Fucking assholes. Made me scratch up my fucking brakes. Yeah, these are 200 fucking quid, these brakes, mate. Yeah? So you have a fucking replace them, or I'm taking every single fucking Sustran sign down, mate. Fucking assholes. Christ, mate. <coughs> Spooky gates. Ugh, cunts. Right, Sustrans. Thanks to your incompetence and our unwillingness to provide. Uh, sufficient cycle path, I've gained sufficient damage to my cycle, including scratch to my frame. There. Yeah? It's a £1,400 bicycle. Yeah? I've spent my life fucking savings on this. And there, it won't fit round there. Alright, so what I suggest, so I suggest a remedy, you buy me a new bike and some new bags, yeah, or you're going to get a bad rep from normally someone who loves you, I love such strands to bits, I honestly do, but that is fucking ridiculous, that's absolutely pathetic for a, a charity. <sighs> I'm really annoying. Just give me a fucking key to that. Uh, there's a big padlock on that big gate, yeah? Just give every, every cyclist in the UK a fucking key, yeah? Even if they buy it for £3.50 for a key cut of it, yeah? Or a, a fucking... A blueprint to give a key makers, anything. Just give me a fucking key, yeah? For these locks. There's all these little locks and that. And gates I have to work around. Every time I do that, it scratches up my bloody bike, scratches up my gear levers. It fucks my gearing up, for Christ's sake, because I damage my gear levers. Yeah? No, I, don't re I really don't get it, but I hope this is a, a fucking decent cycle route. It looks like a good cycle path. It's not paved or fuck all, but it looks nice and quiet and the wind's behind me. There's a lovely little old fucking chimney or something fucking over there, wherever, wherever I fucking see. But route number fucking four on the Celtic route. Fucking sort it out. Mate, please, just sort it out. Your incompetence has cost me my life savings here. How am I supposed to know that my bike won't snap in half two miles down the road over a little pole? 
a little pothole. Like I've seen many a times done before, even on fucking them Kona bicycles snapping on little fucking potholes, yeah? You expect me to go around there and scratch my fucking frame on your fucking shit? No. But thank you, such strength, for a lovely cycle route. Fuck's sake. Uh, I, uh, I still don't see the need for two gates. One gate is enough. One big gate is a fuck enough. Give me a key. Two gates. How's anyone meant to get around that, yeah? This one opens this way and that one opens inwards. So what are you meant to do? What are you meant to do if you have a trailer? Or a tricycle? Or even if you have a pram and you're pushing a kid in a pram, what the fuck are you meant to do, yeah? Sustrans. Fucking idiots. Now scratch my bike, scratch my gear levers, poke a hole in a couple of my fucking bags, right in a fucking spot where it needs to be waterproof the most, right on the side of it. I can't think of anything more to complain about. Fucking rage. Right, I'm fucking, I'm going, I'm going, I am. I can't be asked to fucking hang around here. We all stand there, a little river, yeah, I don't give a shit. Sustrans pissed me off. Right, anyway. Yeah, one more time. That's a gate, fence, I can't see, where is it? Yep, that's a gate, fence, whatever you want to call it. Sort it out, please, Sustrans, please, please. And sort out my fucking bike for me. Because it's well out of fucking order. Yeah, I went as careful as I can possibly be, because I've spent my life savings on this bike. And now it's fucking scratched. Not scratch as in a scratch, but scratch as in dented fucking scratch, yeah? Dented fucking scratch, like a gouge fucking out of a motherfucker, yeah? It pissed me off. Alright. Ow. Right, now apart from being pissed off, and it's our strange incompetence. A nice little feature there. I'm eating a the sausage, by the way, I got from Lidl's. They're quite good. I don't want to know what it's made out of. I don't give a shit, I'm hungry. Mmm. There's a fucking gate. There's this little fucking thing. And there's a big fire over there. Don't know what it is. Can't really see. But yeah, anyway, I'm uh I'm off on my travels. Does it piss me off? Alright, so there, across the sea, river, whatever you want to call it. Hold on, setting on my lens. Go away, fly. That's Somerset or Devon or Cornwall, wherever the fuck it is. This is Wales. Over there is Wales coastline. That's where I'm now going. Somewhere over that direction. Right, we're at um, Port Talbot. Oh, just past there. It's got a lovely beach. And there's, I think there's Swansea over there. And there's a shitload of houses, so I think it is. Or oh, that's Neath. But I think that Swansea is big enough to be Swansea. I think the other little village is only seven miles away, and then Neath is seven miles away, and Swansea's ten miles away. So that looks about ten miles away to me. And uh, well, it doesn't. It looks about seven, but uh, the other place on the left of it doesn't look that big. So that can't be Swansea. But yeah, it's a nice beach. Big puff of smoke, pollution, fucking shit 
all the time probably. You can taste methane and sulfites, sulfates in the air, sulfur and shit in the air. It's quite nice. But uh yeah you can just taste the pollution, that's the only downfall. My general seat by the way. It's got all pad on this side and there's a half of it missing here. So I don't know, that's like a straight seat. I don't know how to get that back round without ripping it apart and doing whatever. But anyway, for now, that guy who said he'd give me his number, he did give me his number, but I can't type it in my phone. Because it's got a two in it and two ones in it. And my phone doesn't do their numbers, so... Uh, I look for someone to send a text from. Right, so I don't know what now. I might go to the restaurant or something, have a cup of coffee or something, and then carry on. Right, of uh, after I um, went along that dodgy track, after that dodgy. Uh, a dodgy cycle track down Route 4, I come to like some good views and all of that and then got to Port Talbot, carried on halfway to Swansea. I, I then met up with a nice gentleman who gave me this map for the rest of Route 4 because he says it was getting quite complicated and um, and yeah he basically invited me back to his house. He um, gave me some pizza and let me stay the night and I had a shower in that which is really lovely of him and uh, he's got a nice house and family in that and uh, and yeah he seems like a nice bloke, he's down to earth and chilled and uh, and yeah basically uh, I, was, I was just on the uh, the seafront of um, Port Talbot, there's a cycle route 4 running straight the way down straight away down the beach for a good couple of miles and uh, he lives just off it so uh, it weren't too bad I just got out of the shower that's when my hair's a mess and I'm all wet but yeah he um he reckons that uh, well the cycle route tomorrow looks up until Carmarthen looks to be all flat from uh, Swansea to Carmarthen is fairly flat and should run, well it, it does run apparently through the hills and not over them or anything so but just before Carmarthen, um, just before yeah just before Carmarthen uh, or just after I can't remember which it does get rather hilly and then towards Tembe it gets seriously hilly apparently now I'm just looking at the map and uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's some that. And just near Tembe it gets a bit like insanely hilly apparently. Even worse than the one mile hill I cycled up yesterday and collapsed on nearly. But um but yeah, I'll uh I'll see uh, what happens because I don't wanna finish it finish my trip too soon and I might go to Fishguard and get after St David's, which is the most westerly point in Britain, um, I'm probably gonna go uh, to fish. Well, I'm gonna go to Fishguard to finish route number four, so like route number four, and then I'm gonna get the train. I reckon I'm not too sure, but I might get the train back to England and then go up north to. Uh, do Snowden or I'll, I'll see what happens I'm not too sure what I'm doing yet and uh, and yeah so basically that that's that's it so far my hair's everywhere and yeah I'm checking myself out I hate that but it's really annoying What's that about? What is that about? Let's see how long my hair is. Yeah, that's my fringe. My fringe, motherfucker. 
and uh, <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow looks like a good day. Friday's tomorrow evening is supposed to be raining, and the same for Friday is supposed to be raining, and uh, and yeah, I'll uh, won't be looking forward to it raining, but at least it will keep me cool while I'm cycling, or I might have another day of rest. No, I won't have another day of rest. <laughs> I've had too many days of rest so far. <laughs> yeah, anyway. This is how I get when I haven't had a smoke. And, uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to freshen up, go downstairs, have a cigarette, and chill out. But basically this is the map he's given me, is the Sustrans Route 4 and 47 map, uh, which is a Celtic route, and uh, you can, yeah, Celtic Trail West, West Wales Cycle Network, is absolutely lovely, it's £6 or something I believe he said it was, and uh and yeah, basically, um, I'm going to be so cycling Route 4 all the way to the end of it. Because I've been on it since the beginning, so I might as well finish till the end. And I'm near Swansea now, so I'm halfway through Wales. But not halfway through the hills. And it, it's only getting worse, apparently, which is makes sense because it's been downhill most of the way. And, um, and yeah, there's been a few big hills. Nothing spectacular. And, and yeah, right, I'm going to go downstairs and have a cigarette.